Hello and welcome to the Cook's Pantry. I've been working on a little recipe that I guess brings back memories of my friendship with Mr. Michael Weldon. I know that man loves a good beer snack and what other snack would you rather have with a beer than a little bit of fried chicken, Japanese style? Some say karagi, some say karaji. I say delicious fried chicken, really simple, bite-sized pieces, have it with a beer and we're gonna give it a little bit of kick. Simple as that. So we've got our, our fryer on there, we're just gonna bring that up. But first things first, working with the chicken and we're using chicken thigh. Really simple marinade on the chicken thigh, a couple of tablespoons of soy. So the soy is gonna play two roles. We get the, the beautiful color that will transfer into the chicken. It's going to season it. Um, so we've almost got a little bit of a brine happening here, which, uh, which works really well with, with things like chicken, pork, brining is a great idea. It just helps to season it and also keeps it beautiful and moist. So we've got the soy and the sake in there. I'm gonna go with a clove of garlic on the microplane. Uh, so you maximize your coverage out of the garlic. <laughs> Inch of ginger. Again, on the microplane, skin on, doesn't matter at all because it's just going to make it so fine, you're not even going to notice. Right, a good hit of ginger in there. Set that to the side. And just give that a really quick mix. So that's it. Soy, sake, ginger, garlic, and that's all we're going to do. So I'm just going to set that off to the side. Marinating, you know the drill. The, the more you put in, the, the better the, the result's going to be. So. If you can leave this for at least half an hour, that's really gonna help to, to season the chicken and transfer that, that beautiful color from the soy. So I'm just gonna pop that in the fridge for about half an hour, and then I can get the mayo sorted and run you guys through the flour mix. All right, so the flour mix that we've got is very straightforward, equal quantities, plain flour and cornstarch. So the reason why we use a bit of the cornstarch is it just makes it a lighter, crispier batter. So we're just gonna work that in, mix those two together. Right, plain flour, corn flour, equal quantities, simple as that. The mayo, so there's, there's two seasonings when it comes to this chicken. So we're gonna have a whole egg mayo. That's gonna be the base. So just a good hit in there, as much as you want, really. Sesame oil. So we're just changing up the, the flavor profile. It's a good thing about a, a, a neutral mayo. You can then dress it up with, with whatever you want. So we're just gonna go with a sesame and lime. So just cut off a little cheek of lime juice. It's gonna give us that little bit of acidity and freshness. And that's it. I'll just check it for seasoning if it needs a little bit of salt, but you really shouldn't need to. Once that chicken comes out of the fryer, we'll season it with salt and then hit it with this little number, togarashi. So it's like a, another name for it if you haven't seen it is seven spice mix. So it's, it's a little chili seasoning condiment um, that's got a fair amount of kick to it, which I love. But I, I guess if you can see on here, they've sort of restrained you. It's like you can only have a certain amount at a time. And that's just a little sprinkle over the top. So we'll season the chicken with salt, a little bit of togarashi onto a plate and a little bowl of mayo. All right. Half an hour into the marinade, that's gonna do us for today. I would say though, if you are gonna do this as a little beer snack, you've got people coming over in the afternoon, first up in the morning, get this one locked away. All right, so very, very simple process. Just take maybe a dozen pieces at a time. Shake off any excess marinade as well. You don't want your flour getting too gluggy. All right, that'll do us. And just use your tongs, keep your fingers out of trouble. Give it a little shake. All right. And then, just drop them in with the tongs one by one. So we've got the fry set at 170, and just give them a little shake before they go in. They're the little bits that I'm gonna be going for. <laughs> they get super crispy. That's looking nice and crispy, nice and golden. Just needs a bit of salt. G'day mate. And the man at the moment, how are you Chief? I'm good. Good? But I heard you have something for me, I'm pretty yeah. excited. Little, little beer snack. <laughs> I thought, you know, whenever I, I think of beer snacks, I think of our little catch up beverages after we do a big day of filming. I'm not against so, that A bit all. of Japanese fried chicken. Mate, fantastic. Just a bit of salt, 
little bit of togarashi over the yeah. top. Give it a bit of kick. Karaji chickens. Karaji. Karaji. Yeah, you're a karaji. I'm yeah. A karaji. I'm no good on the pronunciation. The karaji I can cook kid. it. The karaji kid. The karaji kid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like, like it. this. There we go. So I've just got that. Uh, a little bowl of sesame lime mayo. Beautiful. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna hold. Get into it. Back. Oh, I'm gonna go along on the yeah, bottom. I'll cool down a little bit. <laughs> Right. That sesame lime mayo. Good, isn't it? It's delicious. Yeah. Just a little it's fantastic. pop. Fantastic. Base mayos, do what you want with them. Bit of fried chicken, beer snacks. I love it. I'm going to take these with me. Go for it, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's on his lunch break. See ya. <laughs>